Welcome back everybody to episode 3 of Let's Play Pathologic 2. We are back at the house of the bachelor. Well, technically speaking, it should be the house of our former friend slash almost brother, who um, doesn't seem to think about so positively about us anymore. Ruben, that was his name, right. But uh, we met this mysterious stranger called at the moment only known to us as under the name of the bachelor. And he told us that Ruben isn't all too keen on meeting us. He believes we did indeed have a hand to play at the murder slash death of our father. Now, we of course know that this isn't true, and we're still trying to find our feet in the setting of this very strange and bizarre environment. Anyhow, before we begin exploring further, um, that bachelor last time mentioned something, he said like a Latin phrase, something uh, along the lines of medicum morbo adhibere, and um, I actually uh, couldn't let it sit. Uh, I did take Latin many, many years ago, but I basically can't remember a thing. But I looked it up, and apparently it means something along the lines of a doctor handles the disease, or probably more literal, it needs or it takes a doctor to treat a disease. So, um... Whilst we don't know an awful lot about this mysterious bachelor, he does seem to mean us well. At the very least, he indicated that he wants to, he wants to keep us alive. He said that he kind of needs a second physician around. So, um, yeah, let's take that as a positive. So we saved the game. I think we finished exploring around here. If not, I'll just have a quick look if there's anything else of interest. Oh, yes, of course, I remember we had that skull in a cage. Well different times, eh? Okay, so um, a quick look at the map. There are still a couple of things that we need to take care of at the moment. So we had this person by the river who is who offered us to sell us a revolver. Might actually come in handy, but we need a shed load of money for it. Um, and actually I need to figure out where I can... Um, oh, I can see it here. 549. So I think we need quite a bit more. Uh, hunger and exhaustion is relatively high. Mm. We haven't really figured out yet how to limit this one. I'm guessing we need to take a nap, maybe get some sleep. Who knows? I'm sure we figured this one out. Um, anything else behind the door? No. And then going back on the map just quickly, uh, the house of our father. I think we should definitely at least take a, at least make a quick stop and pay a visit. And then of course one of our old friends, apparently old friends, grieve. Uh, one of his um, acquaintances got stabbed. And uh, he asked us to take a look at him. Now, let's see. No, we got everything here. Um, it seems that the game has an element of time. There's never a timer, but we can also constantly hear like a church bell or something along those lines go in the background. So I'm not sure. Maybe that's an indicator for us. Maybe we should pay attention to this. We don't have a lockpick. Number five. But, um, yeah, because when our father passed, and I'm sure this is part of the game, but there's something that bothered me a little bit with it. Because, oh, hello, who are you? Hello, children. He has some uh, very loving-looking eyes. But, yeah, they said something like, we took too long, so I'm wondering whether the speed of how we progress, which places we go to, and in what order, whether that also influences certain things and outcomes in the game. Uh, hello, kids. Ace. So what? Is the asshole still in there? The one with the carpet bag? Watch your tongue, boy. Though I do agree with you. Yeah, he's in there. I hereby grant you every right to throw something at him, if you so desire. Uh, is he referring to the bachelor? Watch your tongue. But where's Dr. Ruben? We need a doctor. Ruben isn't here, kids. We got zero Rubens left in stock. That obnoxious dandy is a doctor, a well-trained one, I suspect. I'm a doctor. What's the issue? Maybe we can help. This has been a disaster. Alma, Duke, and Wolfling were poisoned. Sorry, poisons are not my area of expertise. A deal of broken jaws, cracked ribs, that kind of thing. Where are they? At a warehouse with little flags. Go down the railroad and to the left. You'll see it. Okay, I'll check it out. Or lead the way. Oh. Do we want to get sidetracked already again? Ah, you know what made it, makes it easier. I can't. We need to go to a drugstore and find bones and a whistle and a shovel. Or Notkin will bite our heads off. You'll find the place on your own. It's easy. 
Bones and a whistle? Are you cure for poison? Well, good luck with that. I will. I know that warehouse. Do we? I press left control to concentrate and find your bearings. Oh, I can talk to her as well. Ginger. You're the man everybody's after, right? You look like the description. I'm not, and I don't. The one and only. Oh, what's the description? You know, big, fat, dangerous, and bulgy eyes. A weird lack, a scary mark, and a stupid look on his face. Must be you. <laughs> okay. My expression isn't stupid, it's bewildered and confused. Oh, thanks, kid. At least I know what I look like now. Really? Well, whatever. It's good we found you. We need help. What for? We need to hold a trial for a murderer. We can't do it without you. Will you help? The fastest judge in town is camping out at Ruben's place. Go see him. Cheers. Hold a trial. But you've got a murderer. Or was it the murderer? I don't understand. No, I don't want to help you. Just go to this other dude, sorry. What's all this? Seems like the local urchins need assistance. Urchins? Isn't an urchin like a... A sea cucumber? Anyway. The local urchins have found... And are trying a murderer. Could it be? Three poisoned patients are in a warehouse we used to play in when we were kids. They seem to require medical help. Odd. Why are those ones highlighted in red? Lara Ravel lives by the river in a house called The Shelter. We used to be friends when we were kids. Hopefully she will at least let me sleep at her place. Oh, that's far away though. <laughs> to be fair, we could use with some rest. Because, um... Yeah. Exhaustion is the part that really worries me at the moment. But, um... Warehouse. That's in the direction I'm looking at, and then to the right. Is that correct? Yeah, but I'm not sure if I can... Let me see if I can go straight from here. I cannot. So this way? Yeah, this way. Oh, this was... Oh yeah, this was where we came from, but... Um... Okay. I think I roughly have an idea on where we need to go. Let's see. That was through here. And to the right. Let me just double check. Yes. And then left hand side. Pretty much the f no the second one on the left hand side. Warehouses only rats live here. This one is closed, so it must be this building. We get there. Can I jump on top? No. That already doesn't work. Good start. I'll just go around. This one here? That white balloon or lamp or whatever that is hanging down there? Can we loot this one? We can! Another empty bottle. Excellent, we'll take it. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see if we can help. like um looks like someone is preparing for a birthday party of sorts let's see oh we can talk to all of them well that's interesting isn't it i thought someone was poisoned they don't look poisoned snout look see everyone the doctor's here why do you think i'm a doctor who's sick see from the murderer huh and i've heard there will be a trial why do you think i'm a doctor We've been looking for doctors since morning. What other reason would a grown-up have for coming here? Tell me about your problem. You're too late. They died. Why didn't you come sooner? What kind of doctor are you? Three kids are dead and no one gives a damn. Not kids. Worse. 
Those were our dogs, Alma, Wolfling and Duke. Oh, so I stay here, I'm a dog person myself. And here I was thinking, who poisoned them? Somebody evil. Lutkin's planning on holding trial. He wanted you to be there too. Well, at least I made it in time for the trial, not all is lost. Okay. There's another safe point for us as well, which is nice. Snout. Oh, they're all called Snout. That traitor Lika saw you this morning, by the way. How you got off the train and beat those thugs up to a pulp. So I have a living, breathing witness. Well, I hope he turns his undying legend into a song when he grows up. Who is Lika? <laughs> he killed Duke, Wolfling, and Alma. What can we punish him for that? Don't you need to make sure he's the real culprit first? I'm speaking from experience here. <laughs> not so fast. I need him to confirm my alibi. And not only them, it seems. No way I'll punish him myself. Okay. That was a short text. And no double conversation with her and all with him. And there's a couple we cannot talk to. Okay, but that's fine. He looks a little bit more important. He has the face of an old man, but the body of a 12-year-old. And some weird jewelry hanging around his neck. So let's see who's here. Rough as Dutch. Safe to touch. Smooth as bone, leave it alone. That was a nice poem. Um, or are you the... Well, I see the big shot here. Let's talk to the girl first. Catnip. Thank you. Thank you for actually coming. You're so brave. Look, we all made a gift for you. To welcome you here. See? It's bread. Please don't frown. It's all we can spare. We need to eat too. There's a lot of mouths to feed here. Why are you doing this? Thank you. When I get my house back, come visit. I'll return the favor. Sorry, it's so stale. And drink the milk fast, because it'll go bad soon. But the water is fresh from a ravine. No, wait, keep this. Especially if you don't have enough much to give. See, kids are all hungry too. No, wait, keep this. But you're a guest. Take it. Or else we'll get bad luck. We need luck more than food right now. Okay. Okay. Um, hunger, actually, not, not too bad. Warm and creamy. Satisfies hunger and thirst. Oh, we don't have thirst at the moment. Bread. We can use this one. Nice. Oh, and now the milk, maybe? Oh, look at that. All gone. Well, almost all. But we have enough water, so thirst isn't really my... Thirst isn't really one of my worries at the moment. But exhaustion, that really is quite particular. Oh, I can trade with her. Cloth mask, durability. What's that? Oh. What's the 18 there? Cast the face. Shoes, 20. And needle. Hmm. Worn and unimpressive, covers the face. As piercing as a wise person's there can be used to pick small locks. It's just the ones in cabinet drawers. Well, we have four. I don't know if the hand is kind of the price. Should we get us some boots? Okay, doesn't seem to be money. Let's close it. I'll figure this one out at later points. I can't talk to you. But I can speak with you. Dandy. Knives, scissors, blades, razors. Anything sharp. If you got a sharp axe, I'm interested. <laughs> Getting armed and ready. How about sharp wit? I can cut deeper. It can cut deeper than a knife. <laughs> I'm gonna take this one. Those items are what I bought her for. I need them. And what would you give me for sharp ob objects? Lock picking shifts. If you're handy with locks, you can open three or four doors with one. Brand new. And needles. Good for smaller locks, like locker locks. So you trade needles for knives? Strange. Oh, so you aren't a local. We aren't allowed razors. If they catch us, we'll be grounded for a year. We might even get spanked. 
Nice try with the bullshit, but I'm not buying it. Razors aren't the only forbidden shop objects. So where'd you get all those pins? Did you break into a tailor shop? I am a local. I'm familiar with the law. Children aren't to touch sharp objects. Oh, that's a law. <clears throat> I believe at the very beginning, didn't we find a razor where the item description was? Uh, kids love them. And for a very good reason. Anyway. Sure. A train full of needles derailed outside my window. Happy now? <laughs> Smart boy. Why do you care? We barter because we don't need pins anymore. We've outgrown them. You're all grown up, aren't you? Now listen, kid. Only butchers are allowed cutting tools in this town. Got it? Scissors for a needle is a good trade. Deal. Are you a butcher? Sort of. By birth, I'm a surgeon. It's like a butcher, but with a sharper knife. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> It's that hand again. Lockpick. I can either cut someone with it or use it to pick a door lock. By the way, it'll break after a couple of uses. Revolver ammo. Morphine. Reliefs. Fear and pain. Even go drowsy and numb. If I take this before sleep, I'll recuperate better. Five. Immunity booster. Assorted pills of unknown origin boost immunity. Smells suspicious. And needles. Oh, so we can give him the rusty scalpel. Ah, so this is worth six and this is worth four. Okay. I would like the lockpick. And, uh, and, uh, and one of those. That's ten. Not sure if we need anything else. I don't think we do. So I'm just going to leave it at that for now. I don't think we need a... Oh, if we get the revolver, then here we can get the ammo for it, okay? I mean, this is four as well. Maybe a scissor for the immunity booster. Smells suspicious. That may come in handy, though. So let's do it. Okay. Cool. And over to you. Cats know the fact or the matter. Ignore when a fool comes to chatter. <laughs> okay. Everybody's a poet here, it seems. Notkin, you hear? Good. The trial can begin. Go on. Who's the accused, kids? Shouldn't you at least present them to me? Who are you anyway? Who's the accused? A question first. They say you're no son to old Burak. He was a doctor. He saved lives. It is said that you kill instead. Is that true? Oh. So that's who the accused is. I am Burak, have no doubt. Is what true? That this town is full of gossips and ru rumor mongers? Yeah, it truly is. Um, I am Barak, I have no doubts. Answer the question, please. Are you a murderer or no? I may have killed, yes. No. And listening to idle chatter does you no good. Killing is not necessarily murder. <laughs> wow, okay. <clears throat> Shall we go the philosophical route? Killing isn't necessarily murder. Calm down. I need to get defensive. Or are you uncomfortable doing this in front of my soul in the house? Aren't you a cheeky boy? Don't calm down me, boy. You want to put me on trial? Go on then. Aren't you cheeky? Cheeky or not, this isn't a game. We're talking about something important here. I'm all ears and stop trying to get under my skin. Consider how they paint me as a dangerous man. I'm all ears. Tell me, is it right to kill? We need to know what you believe. Old Burak wasn't just a doctor to us. He was a teacher. He knew how to live. You say you are a son. So you have to take his place and answer. Is murder acceptable? Oh boy. It's right to kill someone who preys on the weak and defenseless. To take revenge against those who deserve it. Only in self-defense. Only to protect the loved one. No, killing is never right. Never forget that. Nah. This, is this now the route that we can go? Like completely goody, goody good or semi good? And then obviously it's right, like the, the worst version. I'm gonna go. Only to protect. No, self defense is definitely allowed. Only to protect a loved one. Let's go with this one. What's with the frown? You're thinking about your father, aren't you? Yes, I am. I'm done with this integration. Stop wasting my time. I am. So murder can be right sometimes? Why are you planning on killing? It's not about me, but about us. My soul and a half always hang together. 
answer the question. Take your time if you need to. You may very well be choosing your fate. Our fate, sorry. That is never acceptable. Fine. Yes, sometimes it is. Yep. Good. We now know the kind of man you are. Here ends the trial. You're free to go. So you know me, huh? That was quick. Guess I should talk to you if I'm ever confused. I don't get it. I have to admit, I do not get it. Oh, I can talk to him again. That's nice. Which we will do straight away. Oh, there's another one up there. A dog's mind is smaller than a man's, but the heart is so much greater. Mm. Two words. What? You have your revenge and so do we. We now know how to deal with Lika, and that verdict can't be appealed. All you and I have in common now is that today will end soon. Go. Thanks for your help. I don't understand. What did this Lika do anyway? Lika poisoned our friends, who were weak and defenseless. It's an open and shut case. You mean the dogs? We are soul and a halves. To us, they were not mere dogs, but friends. And we prefer them to people. Fair point. Agreed, so... What do, you, what do they call you soul and a halves? What does that mean? We each have a half besides our own soul. See this great cat here, chasing his own tail? That's Jester. We're always together. Ah, uh, what cat? I see no cat. Of course you don't. He's my half. Chester will only show himself to you when I trust you. Oh, okay. So about this Lika. Why do you care? Uh, listen. I'll handle it. Where did that come from? He's our problem, not yours. You've done your part. We'll do the rest. You'll put him on guard. I, however, can get the drop on him. You're scaring me. I'm starting to suspect you're not joking. Interesting answer choices. Perhaps you could. And then what? If he's as bad as you say, I'll drag him over here. And then I snap his neck like a twig. <laughs> I'll give him a spanking, I suppose. I'll figure it out when I get there. Well, I'll figure it out when I get there. You know what? Give him this leash. He'll understand what it means. Will you do this for us? Sure. We have a deal. Murky says it's by the gumstone. Where's that? Who's Murky? <laughs> what? So many questions. Who's Murky? The girl in the corner. She was the one who told us you're a killer. Did she see me then, yeah? So what's that stone you were talking about? The gumstone. Step out from the basket. Aren't you supposed to know all this? Or do you step folk have different names for everything? Oh, it's the same. I know the place. Ah, yeah, the step people called it Ur Hilu. Hatred. See her on pups. <laughs> The answer chances are weird. I feel like I'm selecting certain things really at random here. The soul in the house want to punish the culprit who poisoned their dogs, but I don't want them to do something they'll regret for the rest of their lives. I think that's fine. Town's governor's in charge of the I remember and a stern man. We had everything else I think we had. They're waiting for me. Okay. There once was a man of great humor who found he was dead of a tumor. But he woke up today to his neighbor's dismay, and that of his cow once he took her. Okay, sure. Let's save the game. Who knows when we get the next opportunity, okay? This seemingly was everything. Can we... Oh, we can go up here. Is there anything here for us to... loot? Unfortunately not. But also a nice experiment now. Yeah, okay. If we fall down from the top here. <laughs> oh. Man, jumping really drains stamina. That's crazy. Okay, but nothing really. That's a shame. I thought maybe there was something here for us to um to pick. <clears throat> I know what you're thinking. Stealing from kids? Yeah. Well. Okay. Let's have a quick look at the map. So where should we go next then? Um grocery. Yeah, that guy didn't really So 
the last one to punish the culprit who poisoned their dogs. That's all the way back again, though. Oh, we really need to find a place to sleep. <clears throat> I'm wondering whether I should skip our father's resident residence and try to go over there. Could we maybe use the ferryman to get us there quicker? He won't wait forever, though. I know. How much money do we have now? 659. I think he wants 2,000. What the heck? Oh, scared the crap out of me. Finally, we're back together. I've been waiting for you, Burak. Will you have me now? Uh, young lady, I think you got the wrong guy. What are you? You mistook me for someone else, Buzzagun. Wait, I seem to recognize your face. Why would I recognize that face? <laughs> anyway. Uh, you mistook me for someone else. Don't you remember me, Colburn? Well, I remember you, and I remember your words. So, will you have me now? You are a herb bride. We can't have a relationship. You have a very clear speech for a bride. Do you live in the town? Why are we asking those random questions? Who is this strange woman? Your hands are so heavy. Shh, don't touch me yet. Or else the dress will tear and it's no good. A dress? Okay. The tears in the dress must appear on their own during the dance. Just like the earth is torn apart when it releases it. Herbs. I'm not touching you. Relax, I'll be careful. I'm just checking if you're real. No, I am not touching you. So, will you have me now? We'll be joined forever. No. Fine. I'll wait for you to remember me. We'll meet again soon. I'll find you. For now, try to remember who I am, Colboyne. Segne de. Or there'll be trouble. Uh, don't worry. I'll wait for you. You're beautiful makes absolutely no sense after the answers we've just given and I'm just gonna go with don't worry what the heck what is that nest that she's carrying on her head anyway slightly creepy okay stamina is full again that's great so I think what I'm trying to do is I'm gonna, we're gonna go in this direction anyway, so I'm gonna quickly run to the ferryman. And I'm going to try and see if we can actually utilize them at this point. Maybe they can take us to, oh, sorry, I forgot the name already again, to Lara Ravel. This is the only place so far where there's an indication of we might be able to rest for a bit. And I just worry, because I don't know what happens when once that exhaustion meter is completely filled. Um, what was that? Okay. Excuse me, Mr. Good Sir Ratman. Oh, he can take us directly there. Time, half an hour. Travel by boat, and it costs one of those... Do I have one? Oh, I have one. Ooh, that also means I can't travel back from there, so I would need to get all the way back here again. Mm, by foot. Let's do it. It's fine. We just saved. Are you? the fudge? Was that you? I hope not. That sounds extremely on ominous. Lara's in a house called to the shelter. I used to be friends with me. I hope she will let me sleep in this place. Let's focus and let's see. So this direction is where we need to go. My goodness, that is so creepy. Is that the same woman? No. No, her ha hair looks slightly different. Oh! Uh... And it looks like she has a little bit less dress than the other one. Um... I'm not sure about YouTube. I don't... I hope that doesn't get me into any trouble. I mean, it's just a pair of boobs, but still. You never know. One of those things, and I can talk to it. 
I find myself exhausted, soon to fall, dead tired, they say. I wonder what it means. It means you need some sleep. But woe is me, for I have no place to sleep. Doors lock before this Lord tragedy. No one welcome here in his hometown. Is there no bunkhouse for the needy homeless in the town? Who knows? But you, Burak, are no mere tramp. A hero such as you won't be let in. I'll sleep when I'm dead, I guess. A lockpick might let me in if I could get one. That I do have for you. Here, have one. Still, what? Go home, Burak. Repose will do you good. But should you find another's cot, be quick to sleep. Be quick to steal sleep. Sweet dreams, misfortune seeker. Uh, thanks. And you too? I need to get home quickly. Shoot. We probably should have gone to our father's place then. So is this the house? Oh, this is weird because in regardless which direction I am looking, the icon is there, it is this house. So he knew exactly, this NPC kind of hinted at exactly why I'm here right now. There's yet another save point. I'm not gonna use it right now. Because I'm not quite sure. Oh. Military. I mean, it's a beautiful picture to put up on your wall, right? Too rough for medical procedures, too dirty for cutlery, only good for taking lives. Sounds like exactly what we need. Fresh fish, filling, but it makes your throat feel dry. More toast. Nice. I wonder, and I'm sure we'll find out soon enough, but I wonder if it's one of those games where you need to be mindful what you take with you, you know? Almost like the good old Resident Evils where inventory management comes into play. Damn. Some interesting wall art. Uh, hello, good to see you too, I guess. Isn't that our friend? Our old lady friend, no? Oh, see, now we can see exhaustion in the top left corner of the screen already. Shall I sing a song for you? I mean, you can if you want to. Lara Ravel. How long has it been? Seven years? Less. It's been five years since I left. Seven, maybe. You always were better with numbers. You've changed, Lara. Grown. Your eyes look so cold. Less. It's been five years since I left. Feels like ten. Why are you giving me that look? You smell like blood. Ah, oh, that's uh, nothing. <clears throat> Everyone does, trust me, I'm a surgeon. We share the same pain now, siblings and suffering. That's why you've come to see me, isn't it? What are you talking about? We dearly loved our fathers. Now they're both gone. Yours killed this morning, mine this past spring, after the battle at the forts. Many terrible things happened while you were away. I'm sorry. I didn't know your father well, but I always respected him. He must have been killed in action then. Yes, he was killed. Do you know anything about it? Forget it. I don't want to talk about it. Why are you back? Father sent me a letter two weeks ago, a disturbing one, where he wrote about his involvement in something dangerous. Can you help me? Are we still friends? I think I know why. To take my father's place. And what will you do now? I'll find the killer. I don't know. I'll demand justice. I'll surrender myself to the authorities, explain everything. Who's in charge now? You know what? You aren't going anywhere. I won't let you. Take a look at yourself. You can barely stand. Let alone run around chasing some assailant. You're staying. Eat something. Then get some sleep. 
when you wake up, we'll figure out the rest. How's that? Fair enough, I'm on my last legs. I took a beating, Lara, that's why I'm swaying. Thank you. I wouldn't mind. Fair enough, I'm on my last legs. Okay, so she... is letting me stay. That's nice. Our shelter's not my shelter. She's not as happy to see me as I hoped. Still, I can stay at her place. If I don't find a place to hit the cot, I'll become that tired. Perhaps literally. Yeah, okay. Certain things... Certain thoughts seem to crop up based on our statuses, if I'm seeing this correct. But let's let's get some shut eye first. Is that straight ahead here or? Oh no, that's lead. No, 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 no. Oh, an interesting exit straight into the water. We can. This sound, oh, so eerie, but well made. Anyway. We don't want to exit. We can test this later. Once we've slept and saved, we can... We can do a quick, hopefully free try of what happens if we run into the water. Nope, not this one. There's a chair in front, so obviously we can't go in there, so it must be... No, it's also not this one. Okay. So where am I supposed to sleep then? Do I... Over here? No. Oh, are well, we? Oh, oh, wow. Okay, so we are allowed to sleep on the couch. Well, it's sixteen or nine, or so we can even decide how long we want to sleep. How does this work then? Should we... Because this says relieves fear and pain. You know, if I take this before sleep, I'll recuperate better. So shall I just give this a go? I don't know how... I don't know how common those are. I'm just gonna use it. And sleep. And let's go for however long we can. I mean, that means... Will it snow? Will it pass? I don't know. Everyone's a poet. I'd like to take the maximum, but it means we're waking up almost in the middle of the night. But uh, let's do it anyway. Oh. Uh. Hello. What's happening now? There's a pathway up. Can we use focus? We can. Three bodies, three of those figures. Restless one. My name was Jacob Sturk, worked in shipping. Two marriages, both happy. Put up a daughter. Friends woke me up in the night. They were getting a posse together to catch old Kane's killer. We ambushed him at the station. That's where I was killed, with my own knife, no less. <laughs> oh, is that one? Are those the three guys that we actually knocked out? What Kane? What Kane? Who did you expect to find there? Kane? Don't you mean Bora? I'm sorry. What Kane? Who did you expect to find there? I am so confused. Another restless one. I was called Kirik. It was my idea to catch the murderer at the station, so we lay in ambush. The train came. A man got off. Get him, boys! I cried. That was stupid of me. The killer would be getting on, not off. Take it as a lesson, fool. This world is not for the likes of you. I'm sorry. It's for the best? All of this is for the best? No. Take it as a lesson. They called me Bertie. Short for Bertrand. And that's one of the kinder nicknames. Bertie was fine. A name's just a name. I got murdered at the station last night. Didn't rightly know what I was doing there. Figure I just went along with the herd. That's enough tear jerking. With a name like that, it must have been a tough life. It'll be better now. Why? Bertie and Bertrand? It's not bad. I'm sorry, Bertrand. Figure I just went along with the herd. Yeah, well, that's the... 
It's the old saying, if everybody's jumping off a cliff, would you? That's enough tear jerking. Okay. Talk to all... Oh, this is now lit up, so I guess... Oh. One of the executors. Even taller than the last ones, I feel. Or maybe it's just perspective. Did you enjoy your little chats? They don't blame you, as you saw. I suppose they haven't quite come to terms with their fates yet. Or perhaps they have. Death does that to people. If I could only fix it. Serves them right, I won't cry. Okay, let's try and go a slightly good route, okay? If I could only fix it. I'll tell you a story. Once there was a man who wanted to fix everything. He begged on bended knee for a chance to turn back time. And when he got it, history repeated itself. Good job, we told him. That's your fate. He asked us once more. So? So we let him try once more, but with a catch. He who denies his fate will be punished. He'll keep living as a cripple, lame, wounded. See where I'm going with this? <laughs> I do, shall we try? Did you try again then? I don't remember, and I don't care. Even if he didn't, there probably wasn't a happy ending. You can't fight fate, Burak. It's immutable. He was permanently crippled. I wonder how. I'll still try. Oh. Well. Oh. Press 3. Take out a melee weapon. The executors are here, I see. They're blocking the way from the back. Press 3 to take out a weapon. So we have a knife, or we have our fists. I guess this is a choice already that we can make. Am I understanding this correct? Could we... Could we not avoid the fight altogether and try and see if we can just talk? Can I jump through here? No. Stealth was C, I believe. If I'm stealthing my way... This is clunky. Okay. Autopsy there. Oh. See? You're a man of fate, Burak. What are you trying to prove? You can't change fate. Have you heard the story of Oedipus? Yes, I've read about him. But what's my fate? Fate is not to be fought, be cat. It must be overcome another way. Hmm. But what's my fate? I told you already, Burak. It's not pretty. You will spill blood. Just let it go, Ripper. Don't be so bullheaded. Just because you have a hammer doesn't mean every problem's a nail. Okay. Nothing wrong with my head. My brain's functioning just fine. If I have a hammer, then you might be in trouble, Beakert. I'm not a ripper. Nothing wrong with my head. My brain's functioning just fine. <sighs> I'm not a ripper. Nothing wrong with my head. Okay. Don't know what this option was there. I noticed it just too, too late. Was it a month ago? I don't remember. Wake up. Cup. There's someone upstairs. A thief must have gotten in. Or someone even worse. You don't have much to steal. Yeah, that's true, because we took everything already. Cup. So, Ravel, you remembered our old friendship. Look, what a dream I had. Twice indeed in full bloom. I'll take this one. Something's fumbling around. I hear it. What if it's the thing? The thing that killed Isidore? What if the soil spit out a shabnak after all? Don't be silly. 
Even I don't believe those tales. It's unbecoming of you, right? Well, I hope so. Is there a weapon I can borrow? I'll look around, just stay calm. It's fine. Oh, there's a little red sign now. Lara says there's a thief in her house. Oh, exhaustion was all bad. Hmm. That's disappointing. Okay. I feel I've used up the vial now completely for naught, for nothing. Oh, okay, she has literally nothing. Do we have anything? Oh, four was the light. Press F to light the lamp. Matches needed. Okay. Thank goodness I didn't save yet, so... Oh, the door is open indeed. Something is here. No one behind the door. Oh, hello. It's a child. Who are you? You've changed, haven't you? Oh! Or am I seeing things? It's the changing again. Got any idea where she keeps bread? The shelves are empty. Who are you? A close friend. Or oh, a bitter enemy. Your choice, really. So, friends. What do you want? Do you believe in divination, Burak? Uh, no. <laughs> of course. Can you see my future? No, I don't. Well, that makes things harder. Because you're going to do something awful. And I could have saved you this grace. I guess you'd rather stay gloomy, self-centered and bullheaded. Am I right? I'm going to disgrace myself. You'll spill a ton of blood, Burak. Tremendous amounts. A river of blood. Family blood. Beloved blood. You'll drown this town in blood and soon. Unless you trust me. So, a bite of toast and you'll wave your hands and fix everything? Or do you take coin? I don't understand. I do have some bread, so let's take this. Listen to me. You need to leave town. Now. If you must stay, lay low. Do nothing. The less you do, the less grief you'll bring to those around you. Abandon your schemes. I'll handle it on my own. It'll be glorious. You'll see. You're good at chin music, I'll give you that, but your actual words are bullshit. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Whatever it takes, it's all going to hell, and soon. We're halfway there now. Just stay still. Trust me, will you? I'm your sister. You're double. And I know what must be done. I know a great deal, Borak. The future is open to me. Okay, prove it. Your life lessons will prove me right, but heed my words. Whenever you want to do something, don't. You'll just make it worse. You'll be the demise of your hometown. You'll drown it with blood. Oh, so the scenario just now with the three attackers. Should we have just stood still? Not done anything? Anyway. We have not buying it, and I think you should get going. The mistress of the house is getting anxious. Listen up, because I'll only say this once. If I ever catch you here again, I might get angry. And if you cross me, it'll be your blood that begins this. How's that for prophecy? I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Okay. What do we have now? Not Kenoya, the little child. Lara, our friend and changeling. Thoughts. Lara says there's a thief. It's been foretold I will spill a river of blood soon. Guess someone will find their death under my knife after all. Okay. Only those are still red. Rough as Dutch, safe to touch. Smooth as bone, leave it alone. Have you thought about what I told you? I had a strange dream. What's it you're doing? No. Yours. Don't you want to know what I dreamed of? What's wrong with me? It's just a bad dream. Of horror, I'm sure. All dreams are prophetic, and since you dreamt it, you must have seen yourself spill blood. As for the details, spare me. My nerves are delicate. I'm not some monster. Are you sure it was prophetic? So you know how to hypnotize people then. It was prophetic, no doubt about that. I'm a stepman and we believe in fate. You can't run from fate. Nothing, doubtless. So you say you have a gift, huh? Well, I do too. I can sense when I'm being lied to, like right now. Hmm. 
There's a lot of me. Not so much of you. Okay, well I can't do anything else. There's nothing in here. And I can't give her any bread, unfortunately. No. Death? I guess. Well, I'm going downstairs again. Let's talk to Lara, and if she doesn't let me sleep now, I'm probably gonna drop dead anyway, because exhaustion is reaching critical mass. If only I could live a year longer. A whole endless year. So, what was it? Some beggar, I think, broke into your house. She's babbling nonsense. Should I toss her out? Nothing you must imagine. Well, she's not a shabnak, don't worry, she'll leave soon. Some beggar. Don't. If she's already here, let her be. Maybe she's hiding from the violent mob. I'll check on her later. Provide some care if needed. She's not so gentle. More likely you need that care. She could use that. Yeah. Whoever it was, she won't bother Laura anymore. Clearly I'm her new target. Okay. Can we now get some sleep? We'll try this again. Okay, that seems to be working at least. <sighs> or not. Oh! Uh, the Rat King! <laughs> Hello, sir. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Rat Prophet! You're quite the sleeper, human. Shouldn't have gone to bed at all. I need to rest, please. Exactly. You'll sleep your whole life away, if you're not careful. Time and tide tarry for no man. Remember? Quality proverb. This isn't life. Life is a dream. This isn't life. While you dream, the town lives. Someone out there waits for you this very moment. Perhaps they wait in vain. Is my hint clear? Don't be surprised if you wake up and find every train has left the station. Not easily shaken, little critter. See? Here I am, talking to you like all this is normal. No one waits for me. Not here. Oh. Okay, interesting. So I guess that's another nope to sleep. Oh, come on. Every time. <laughs> okay. You have dark circles oh. under your eyes. Someone's here from Oljimski. They want to talk to you. Don't worry, there's no danger. Why would I worry? Oljimski. I wonder how he found out I was here. To hell with it. I don't want to see anyone. Except you, of course. <clears throat> I don't even know who that is, but why would I worry? I guess this has to do. I mean, it's it's clear we're not getting much more sleep than this. Master says you're doing well. He said with each hour, fewer and fewer people think he's the murderer. He said, tell him that I want to talk. Let him come to the lump right away. Your master? Big Vlad. Ah, Wojimski. What does he want with me? If he's summoning you, you must go. No dawdling, he said. True, if Big Vlad calls you, come. I'll come by when I can. you tell him that. If he needs me so much, let him come to me. Uh, I don't know. Who is there? I mean, why would we even give this as an answer? We have clearly no idea who the guy is. I'll come by when I can. The High and the Mighty of this town have finally taken notice of Borak. The witch hunt is over. I can now go out safely. The town hall is no longer looking for me. Okay. Why? Oh. Oh, it makes sense. Because of this principle of doing nothing? Because we slept? Time moves forward while I sleep. This way, I may skip some events. On the other hand, if I have nothing to do, Sleeping is a good way to move things forward. I 
I may skip some events, okay? So you, again, so this this bit of, you run the risk of missing things. What are we looking like right now? Exhaustion is somewhat down. Let's have a look at the map. Where is this now? The high and mighty. It's quite a bit away. It's a long way. Can we? No. Oh, we can set a marker like this. Oh, I can talk to him again. At last! A crowd now gathers round my act. Sit down like that. Now watch. Death by starvation. Too busy. But speaking of starvation, have you got any food at all? I'd cut a man open for some dry old toast. Tough luck. Fortunately, unlike you, I'm nowhere near starving. So the good sir fancies a slice? Have one. Shan't last. In half hour's time, my act resumes. Come see Death by Starvation, lads and lasses. That's okay, I'll just find another freak with toast. Wrong. You should look for freaks that trade in trash. Perhaps home-owning freaks too foolish to see as you rummage through their paltry things. I respect... No, I'm not. It's not a bad idea, actually. I think your act may be delayed after all. Yep. What's our hunger like? Good. Use it. Bit of thirst, yep. Yeah. Alright. Uh, where's my marker? So it's this one there, yeah. I wonder if we would have gone out and just ran around beforehand. Would people... Would someone have started to attack us, for example? How could I have to go about this? Um, oh, this is all walled in. So through here. So I need to go out again, to the right, through there, the way through here, through here. That should be fine. Nothing in here. One more. There looks like a little gap in there. There is... Is there one? There is one. Do we fit through? Yes, we do. Very nice. Okay, and now to the right where the tree is. Okay. The backbone. No one cares about you. Right. Straight, straight, straight. Slide to the left. Okay, we can talk to all of them. Let's just have a chat with this friendly dude over here. Uze. Seems the Borak prophecy is true, huh? Each Borak will spill a river of blood, or drown the town in blood. Maybe. The wording varies. So it goes. So much death. Borak? You mean it all? Have you seen much death? I don't think you recognize me. I am a Borak. Of course. He may not have spilled it himself, but it's all happening because of him. Just as the prophecy foretold. Oh, bullshit. Old wives' tales. Isidore has nothing to do with this. This is on you. I mean, what do we know? Don't even know what they're talking about, but... Fair enough. It's a big city, it seems, so quite a bit of mileage to put past us. Again, relatively straight, slide to the left. Get water, get water, and drink while we're at it. Wait, yeah, no hunger. Hmm, I wonder if exhaustion is also increasing quicker if we are running more. I mean, it would make sense, right? Then I also don't just want to walk everything. Okay, straight, 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 so left, now we're almost there. 
Like a little curvature should be here. What's happening over there? That's an interesting looking dance you guys doing. Oh, are you pulling someone? Slide to the left. So we are on a mission. See who this guy is. Oh, there's a, another one of those um, lady friends. Oh. The fudge was that? Is that the house we wanted to go to? I guess so. Money. Very nice. First thing, we enter a house and we're looting. Alright, let's see first what we... Okay, I guess that's the guy. It is indeed the guy. My good sir. A sound steward doesn't fear mice. He doesn't fear anyone. Sure. Big Vlad. That familiar old face. You know, I remember what your esteemed father looked like when he was young. I am, after all, only 15 years younger. He was a very decent person. He had a real spine. Boys, Vlad, I am honored. Welcome home, my dear boy. Welcome home. The reception was rather lukewarm, though, wasn't it? It was. I am getting reports you're a villain, my boy. A murderous villain. My people are upset that they couldn't do you in. They're an ugly mob, aren't they? So small-minded. Animals. Beasts. Swine. At least you slipped away. Perhaps I should stand up for you. Um, they're mob sure, but they're not swine. That would be useful. Can you really? We could use an ally. My power is immense, boy. Have you forgotten? Everything you see here is mine. The whole bull enterprise. The abattoir, the factory, the warehouses, the station. This town's wains are my reins. It's meat and bones my throne. I am the master, and I expect to be obeyed. Uh, you don't owe me. And everyone really obeys you? I haven't forgotten, believe me, and I'm not the only one who remembers. You don't owe me. At least, take my advice. I'm always eager to help, Isidore's son. Stay here a while. Don't go out. My house is big. Plenty of space. If you need anything, just call the servants. <sighs> Why? For your future's sake, my boy. What's the rush? Take a rest. You've suffered so much, and the rest of the town will have a rest from you. Thank you, boys. I'll sleep when I'm dead, or I'll take care of my future myself. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Big flood. Okay. Not quite sure what to make of that guy. Interesting house, though. Interesting decoration. A massive bullhead there at the top. Reminds me of that bull that blocked our our railroad. Don't know if this um, if this is symbolic for him then. If he is a roadblock, for example. An avid reader. More bullheads. More bulls. And nothing else. Alright, um don't feel like we managed to do an awful lot, so we've um we've met the kids, the half souls or soul halves. Uh we gave them advice on the trial, whatever that means. We met our old childhood friend, Lara. Ah, uh, she's odd. Um, a half-naked lady ambushed us and uh, asked us if we're ready to take her. Um, which we, I think, very politely declined, at least for the time being. Um, yeah, and not really much else. Everything is still 
very weird. We tempted fate. One of the executors gave us another attempt at um, dealing with those three ruffians at the train station. But yeah, uh, this is the third hour in and I cannot say that much has changed. I'm still highly confused. The one positive thing is we managed to get some sleep and it does look like this evil mob is no longer chasing us and we can at least walk around relatively free freely right now, even though we haven't encountered any hostility other than, you know, weird words and, like I said, those three guys at the train station. But let's take a break here. Um, I'm going to save the game and then we'll continue from this point on on the next episode. Thank you so much for joining me again. I hope, as always, I will see you on the next one. And until then, look after yourself and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye bye.